have like. <laughs> Did you have a long? Okay, okay, okay. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> well, I would. You look I'm an like Oscar. Oscar, yeah. Right. <laughs> Honestly, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna fake it. Um, I only came here because you live so close to in and out Oh, is that right? And I am so hungover. Do you find that that helps? Because Guillermo had two double-doubles at in and out last night after doing 17 shots of tequila. That's my boy. That's right, yeah. We actually did, we actually did a shot of tequila before the show started taping today. Oh, you did? Yes, Sorry, of did I tell on you? Of... No, no, it's okay. He knows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, do I know. Yeah, yes. yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? How's, I mean, you got a lot going on in your life. You just, congratulations on your engagement. That's Thanks. very nice. It's a big deal. <laughs> do you mind if I... Do you mind if I ask you about it, uh, about oh, the details? Um, Is it? Uh... Yes, I'm very happy. Thank you. Um, actually, in and out plays a big role in my life. Um, <laughs> uh, we bonded over an in and out burger about three years at the Golden Globes. You in Orlando? Did. Yeah, he stole one off of my table. I was sitting with Denzel Washington, and he took it. And I was like, wait, who? Oh, you're so hot. <laughs> Fine, take it. And then I saw him at a party, and I was like, how are those onions resting on your molars? <laughs> He's like, I like you. And then, you know, cut two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've got to cater the wedding. <laughs> did you pick out your ring or did he pick out the ring? Um, well, I, um, I, I voiced my opinion. That's the way to go. Uh, yeah, no, it was very sweet. Um, it was Valentine's Day. Oh, and, wow. Uh, Classic. Yeah, I know. Well, usually people are breaking up or like having major, like, affections, displays of affections. This one was a good one. Yeah. Um, we went to dinner, and I thought we were going to go and see some art uh, after dinner, um, but we pulled up to a helicopter, and... Um... Oh, very bachelor. I... Very bachelor. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I... I'm glad I don't have to go on that show now. I'm fine. Um... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> After all of my American Idol, I end up on the yeah, bachelorette. Right. Um, but it was really sweet. He asked me to marry him in a helicopter. Actually, the funny part is um, we had champagne in the helicopter, and the box was in his pocket, and he had written down everything he wanted to say in a note, you know, to divert, right? He's going to pull it out while I'm reading it, so I'm reading it, but I'm hearing, like, the champagne is, like, broken, the bottle's everywhere, and I'm still looking at the note because he, he's pulling out this box that's too big for his uh, coat pocket, and it rips his coat pocket, and his elbow goes into the champagne, and I'm like, no, I'm just reading the note. I know you're not doing anything. Um, wow. Would you, were you wearing those big headphones when he proposed? <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> No, we weren't. Oh, you we weren't. weren't. We weren't. It was really sweet. It was a and quiet helicopter. We did land, and it was like James Bond. Like everybody had like an earpiece, and then we go downstairs. We landed on a, a rooftop, and my whole family was there. Oh, and all that's my great. Friends. He did so well. Oh wow! You landed on your family's house? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, just the building downtown. He terrorized really, the neighborhood. It was really sweet. You guys do seem to be a very good couple. You know, Thank I, I want to ask you something, and I only we're feel, adventure buddies. I only feel comfortable asking you this on television. Oh no. Okay. So my wife and I were at dinner one night, and there was almost no one in the restaurant, <laughs> and you and Orlando walked in. Yes. And you guys came over and said hello, and yeah. we talked for a little while. And at that point, I had like a moment of nervousness because I'm like, I don't know. Now, am I rude if I say, if I say, would you guys, if I don't say, would you guys like to sit with us? Which I did want to say. Oh, well, but that's kind of. But you were finishing your meal, and we had just start. We were just starting. I would have eaten again. Okay. And, <laughs> Or, okay, no, I think I have the answer. It was What's right that? not to ask you, right? No, if you wanted, because then I thought, oh, maybe they wanted us to ask. Maybe they're sick of each other at I, this point. You, you are enough, Jimmy, and I love you, and... Enough for a stop by at the table or enough for a whole, like, second meal? Whatever inner dialogue is going on, I love you, and that's why I'm here okay. on this show. Okay, that's a great... Boy, that's a beautiful non-answer. <laughs> With Orlando, you guys, you live together already, right? Correct. So you've already thrown all his stuff away, or <laughs> is that? Wait, to did come? you really know about that? Well, no, I'm just asking. Oh when my it's, it's, God! <laughs> it's Listen, not. It's, no, seriously. It's not unique to the two of you. Oh. 
Yes. <laughs> it's, Great. Uh, what, oh, did you throw his um, stuff away? Okay, so he's had a toiletry bag for about 10 years that's like falling apart and has like toothpaste like growing other families inside mm -hmm. it. And I got him a toiletry bag um, as one of his gifts for uh, Christmas. And he was going away to shoot his new show that's coming out on Amazon called Carnival Row. Mm -hmm. And um, it was funny. I was like, okay, the moment you leave, this toiletry bag that's underneath the sink that you have feelings about <laughs> is going straight in the trash. Mm -hmm. And it went straight in the trash. And um, he didn't believe me. He got home. He was very upset. <laughs> I had like a full time out. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And there's but nothing you can do about there's it. No. Not, no, but he likes the headspace. I like to keep a really like clean, neat, and tidy. Ah, yes. Marie yeah. Kondo-esque? Uh, it sparks joy. It yes. does spark joy, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sparks lots of joy. It's, well, a, good, it's a good thing. Uh, well, Katie will be sparking joy on a new season of American Idol. It comes back on Sunday night, 8 o'clock. <laughs> ABC, thank you for being here. We'll be right back with Javier Bardem. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.